Hey guys, welcome back to Raidertology. We were going game by game, and now we're going to go just round by round because it's easier and I kind of know what I'm getting at. I'm a, I'll probably do a round by a game by game for the first round and then, well, for the round of 64, then we get into 32 and because then you'll know at least how I feel about the the certain teams. I'm. I was doing that because the way I was at first I tried to do an entire tournament video and that just took forever so and I try to keep my videos around south of five minutes six or seven at the absolute maximum as of late so that's why I decided to make smaller videos documenting the way I was going to do it Documenting every game because or else it would have taken forever like the first video did And so now I'm gonna start doing this round by round because I pretty much know Know now where I want to go with it and if I can find my dang marker Yeah, well got to use the black It'll drive me nuts, but Yep Okay so here we go, round by round, um, Virginia Creighton, this was going to be the absolute battle of wills, Creighton's high flying offense, Virginia, and, and Virginia is, is the best defense in the country, bar none, best defense, one of the best offenses, this is going to be a clash of wills. Offense might win games. Defense wins championships. I'm going Virginia to, to defeat Creighton and go to the Sweet 16. Kentucky, Arizona. Kentucky, I think, will survive Davidson. But I don't think they will survive Arizona. I think Arizona is just way too good and on way too much of a hot streak. I don't really see where Arizona. I don't really see where Kentucky really has an edge over Arizona. Maybe block in block shots, but up and inside. But otherwise, I'm taking Arizona. To move on there. Now, Loyola, Tennessee, you're going to be shocked. Tennessee is going to be shocked because, as I said, I thought Tennessee was the most beatable giant killer. I, I still think the most beatable giant, and I think Loyola is the best giant killer. So I'm going Loyola to defeat Tennessee and to get to the second second weekend sweet 16 Nevada Cincinnati I don't really like Nevada's chances here and I think Cincinnati is probably just as good defensively as as Virginia is, I think they're a little, probably even a little better offensively than Virginia is. So, I don't like Nevada's chances right here. Even though they are a fast-paced offense, I think Cincinnati has enough offense and enough defense to stifle them, s slow them down. And I think Cincinnati right here... will survive in advance to the sweet 16. You know what? Let's just let's just continue it. We're on a roll. We got about 30 seconds here before I hit my 5 minute mark so I can go over a bit. So let's just go on. Virginia Arizona. This one deserves a video in and of itself. But since I said, hey, let's finish the South, since we're on it, let's do it. I really like this matchup. I really like Arizona in this matchup. I think it's 
I think it's a really balanced matchup for the both of them. I think it's going to be very... I think it's going to be a very close game. I don't really know who to pick offhand. But, you know, I've been I've been rolling with Virginia all year from the very jump. And, you know... I've been rolling with Virginia, and I just can't, you know, abandon ship while the ship's still up. So, I'm taking Virginia over Arizona to, to reach the Elite Eight. Loyola in Cincinnati. I'm sorry for my boys from Illinois. But they just aren't Cincy, Cincy good, Cincy tough. I'm sorry. I, it, it hurts me to say that. It hurts me to end this wonderful Cinderella story. But you know what? Screw it. Loyola. Loyola. All right. Now let's be serious. They're not Cincinnati. They're nowhere near Cincinnati good. So Virginia... Cincinnati. As I said, I think these are the two best defenses. They're the two best complete teams. And I think Virginia is the best team in the nation, regardless. And I've been pretty much yelling that all year to anybody who would listen. I'll give them a pass on the Virginia tech loss. You know, a, a fluky one-point loss like that. You know, that can be a pass. And then th I think their only other loss was to West Virginia. So I can give them a pass on that. So, you know, you look at this Virginia team and who have they really lost to? Nobody. Or no bad losses. Cincinnati's actually had a couple of those losses where it, it raises eyebrows because it's not a great loss. So, I think that's why I got Virginia coming out of the South Region. Thank you for watching. And I'd, lo I'd love to know what you guys think about anything I said about the South Region. Alright, so leave those in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.